Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally. And in today's video, we are going to be using one of the t-shirts that I bought from the charity shop that I did. And we are going to be using a bow tie smocking design on it. So this time it's going to be a smaller design that is going a bit lower down and I want to see how it manipulates the fabric. Shall we get into this? So this is the t-shirt. It's really baggy on me at the minute and I'm just wondering about putting some smocking on the front so that this kind of shrinks and nips in. I'm not going to do anything to the back this time. It's just plain as well but the colour is perfect for me <laughs> and also I really do like the fabric. So let's see what we can do. This is the bow tie smocking design. It's what we need to draw out on our fabric. So what I've done here is I've got my bow tie slash brickwork mocking pattern over here and I've transferred it using the water soluble pen and my ruler and I've decided to have three bow ties kind of across and there'll probably be one, two, three, four down. I'm looking at sort of a small space at the bottom. Yep, this is what it looks like. So as I said, I've left quite a large gap at the top, small at the sides, and just a small amount at the bottom. And there's my design. So I'll show you how to do it. So I'm using my upholstery thread and I'm gonna start in the bottom left of my grid and I'm going to do a tiny, tiny stitch because remember this is inside out. The design has been put on the inside, the reverse side. And then a tiny stitch up here. And then I'm going to pull those two together. And push my needle through, put my needle through the loop and pull that quite hard. In fact, I'm probably going to do another little stitch there. Yes, I am. And then I'm going to head over to this corner. Tiny stitch up there. And then I'm going to pull these two together. And now I'm going to head up. Tiny stitch. in there, pull my needle through, and then what I want to do is once that's secure, this corner, tiny stitch and pull that together, put a little stitch through there. Up. And then we're going to head over to this corner and pull that in to and secure these two together. Now 
and then I just carry on with the same idea. So I'm going to head up to the next arrow in the center. Remember that one needs to be left slack and then it's my new stitch to secure it. And then we're going to turn this a little bit. Head over to the bottom of this square. And sew those two together. This is how much I've got done so far. That's what it looks like on the back. And then just pulling it over, you can see the design starting to come out. And these we will just pull out a new shape as we go along. So I will carry on working on this. My eyesight is proper going. <laughs> you see that? It took the ages to thread the needle. Crazy.
so nearly finished. So nearly finished. So that's it on the front. So it looks like brickwork at the moment and then we pinch it in if that's what I'm going to do. So I'll try it on the mannequin. Is that? It kind of drapes and goes longer at the back, which I'm liking. It's gathered in with the smocking at the front there. enjoyed this video today and don't forget to give me a like if you did and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I hope you like watching me design and make the smocking idea. I haven't put it together as the bow tie, the bows, because I thought it was nice as it is. That's how I'd wear it. So I'm not going to put any pearls or beads or anything to pinch it in the centre of these little rectangles and leave it as it is. So take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!